What's up guys, it's your boy Reese Boy back with another video. I hope you guys are good. Don't mind this the glare right here. But anyways guys, we're having some stew beef. No, we're having some roast with homemade mashed potatoes and we have orangey with us. But guys, let's say grace. Dear God bless us here to just say amen. I am going through it. I am going through it. Oh my God. It's funny when you know you're being tested. Like it's really funny. And I gotta be careful what I said because there's eavesdroppers. Um, but, and there's snitches too on my channel. Um, oh God, I wish this was liquor. <laughs> Don't drink kids, but I sometimes want to. Like when you go through life wanting to just feel numb, it's so sad that you feel like you have to be numb through life. And in my situation right now, I. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, okay? You guys have seen me fall a lot since after surgery, right? I mean, I've followed it. I haven't gained, I mean, I probably have gained weight, who knows? I just don't weigh myself because it's too depressing. And I'm not going backwards, like I'm gonna get all the way back up to 600 and triple like they say you will. Um, like I would probably end up being, if I wanted, if I really truly wanted to be, I could, <clears throat> but I don't want to. And to the people who are like, oh, he's not, he doesn't care anymore. So that's why I'm not watching his vi his videos anymore. You know, he's a train wreck, you know, going to happen again. <clears throat> when you're dealing with stress and when you're dealing, when you feel like the world is against you, you don't care anymore. And I feel myself going back in that cycle again. But the thing that keeps me going is friends that I care about and certain family members that I care about. And just knowing how miserable I was. Like, you know, I couldn't walk here. I couldn't travel. I couldn't do anything. There's no way that I would ever get back to that size. But between 290 to 300 is okay. You know, I talked to my doctor about it. And she's like, that's okay. You know, if you can't get any lower than that, it's all right. You know, we don't want you too skinny. So I was like, okay, doc, if you're okay with that, then I'm okay with that. But when you have people constantly in your ear telling you that like, you're going to fail, you never should have done this surgery, you're never going to amount to anything, it really starts to mess with your head. And when you're dealing with depression and anxiety and you're normal, you're, you're used to being able to just eat whatever you want to eat to deal with the pain, you're going to do that. But me, what I've done is to deal with the pain, I'll listen to music, I'll call Jama, I'll wait until I talk to my sisters on Sunday, my sister and my cousin, cousin on Sunday. Um, I'll look towards the future, but right now my future looks boring as heck, like there's no good future. Um, to be completely honest, YouTube, I really is just... It's not it for me anymore. Like, I really don't have fun doing YouTube anymore. Like I did in the beginning. <clears throat> and it's sad to say that after reaching four years and people not caring that you reach four, four years, <clears throat> I have family members that understand that this was like really big for you and that you're actually making a difference. And there's people who don't give a rat's behind what you're doing because they think that you're using it as a gossip thing. You want to be like the next Wendy Williams or... You're whatever, whatever, I mean, people have shoved in my face and said to me before. You know, it hurts, but it's like at the same time, it's like, who gives a crap? You know, who cares what that person says? Because just because you're miserable in your life <clears throat> from the mistakes that you made in your life doesn't mean that you need to go and attack someone else who's trying to make a difference in their life. But my situation that I'm realizing now is until I can get away from here, I don't see myself getting any better. Like, I really don't. And there are people who like don't understand that. There are people who will say, well, just ignore it. Just ignore it. It'll leave you alone. It's not that easy. When the person is like just constantly, constantly, constantly bothering you, you can't ignore that. Sorry about my dog. She's barking like for whatever reason. I don't know why. But um, you have to like, I don't know. It's hard. It's really frustrating and it's really hard because 
you're told that you're not good enough. You're told that you're lazy. You're told that you you need to do this. You need to do that. But then it's like when you do something, you're dinged if you do and you're dinged if you don't. And I know they're probably the person's probably listening right now. But I can't speak the way I really want to feel because there's people who will like, I'll say one thing on my own channel, that it's my channel and I have a right to say whatever I want to say. And they'll run and tell tell people stuff and then start more problems for me off camera. And it's like, that's what I don't think it's fair because it's like, why have a platform if you can't really say what you want to say? Because there's so many snitches and there's so many people who will twist it and say, that really hurt me and oh my God, and, do, 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 and, do, do. and turn it into like a bigger situation being drama queens. All right. And what I say to those people is if you don't walk in my shoes and you don't deal with what I deal with, mind your bleeping business. I'm tired of people thinking they have a right to start problems for me because they they only heard one side of the story. And that's the part that makes me frustrated because it's like, if you don't know the whole circle, shut your mouth. You don't know what I'm going, like, just be quiet. Like, I hate when people do that because it's like, one, I don't attack someone for no reason. I think that I have a justified reason to say what I want to say. And two, Mind your business. What does that have to do with you? That's what I hate. Like, I put out a video, I think it was like two years ago or a year ago. No, it might have been two years ago because I don't know. Was it a year ago? I don't even remember if it was a year ago. <laughs> but I was going in and I don't remember who I was going in on. But it, it got back to that person. And that person watched that video in a room that I was in. And what really, what frustrated me through all of that, and it wasn't that that person found out, I knew they were gonna find out, and I did that before they would find out, was that after all 50 or, I, I don't even know how many videos I posted by that time. It had to be more, because I know I was like at two something. So it must've been two years ago. Um, out of all the good videos that I post, the snitch told them to watch this one video at this one time. And I was just like, wow, like that's what frustrated me. It's like all the good videos that I posted up to that moment, you wanna tell them to watch this one video where I'm going in because I'm frustrated and I'm hurt and I feel like I have no other outlet. Like that was like that person, um, to this day, I still don't know who that person is. And I'm not gonna accuse anybody because I still to this day don't know who that person is. And I really could care less who that person is because you're still pathetic. Are you done? Thank you. You see, they don't listen to me. <laughs> They're just working, I feel bad. They need to work, they gotta make their money. Um, oh, yeah, uh, That was disgusting. That was fat. But anyways, I don't care who that person was, but that person like really hold on. Yes, Baba. Yeah. All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry, I had to turn on a show for my niece. I mean, how did stupid dog got to start barking? Hmm. But anyways, like I was saying, um, when I get a chance, when I really, 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 really can tell you guys what I'm dealing with, it will probably be when I move out. And I don't care who it hurts and I don't care what it, what it opens up because I've been, my name, my name 100% has been destroyed. My name, who I am, has been destroyed in this circle. And I don't care anymore. Like, I really don't... I don't care anymore. People are naive. People are stupid. People have problems. They're self. But it's so quick for you to put that on someone else. Um, I don't care who sees this and who doesn't see this. Because my views are... Psh, whatever. Um... Have I ever disappeared to the point where you guys don't see me for like a long time? That probably means I gave up on YouTube. Like I, I, I don't know. It's just not fun for me anymore. It's like really starting to get annoying. Like I just don't care anymore. And it's sad. I know a lot of people fall after four years.
and I didn't want to be that YouTuber, but I could see it happening. And I understand why a lot of people in life walk away from their family after a while. Like, I get it. You really have to... <laughs> You wonder why some of these these big people have no communication with certain people in their family? I get it. Like, 100%. You wonder. You wonder. One, they eavesdrop. They lie. They twist stories. They they want to be like they're perfect. They're Mother Teresa, basically. Um, and they make you out to be the bad guy. And they make mess with your head. Like, that's so pathetic. But there's people who know who truly know who I am that are outside of the circle. And it's sad that people inside the circle don't even know who I am. They think that, and it was funny because I was having this conversation with what mask do you wear in life? Like, do you have masks that you, meaning like, not like physical mask, but like in like just, well, kind of physical mask, but not like masks that people can see. Like masks that only you and like God knows. Meaning like, do you put on the mask of being happy all the time? Do you put on the mask of being angry all the time to hide what the truth is? Do you put on the mask about um, whatever it is in life, you know? I wear a lot of masks. I wear a mask when I'm happy. I wear a mask when I'm... Pretty much I wear one mask. Because <laughs> I'm always happy. I put on a mask that I'm always happy because when you feel like your opinion doesn't matter and when you feel like what you say is twisted and then it's told that you're naive or you're told that you're bipolar, you're told that you're, you're um, what was the other word? That you don't comprehend. Um, you learn how to put on a mask and be fake because you feel like you're being treated fake. So you put on a mask where you're basically being fake. And I know people are eavesdropping because that's all they do. Um, Cause they can never just ask you what you're talking about. They got to eavesdrop outside your door. That's why I don't want to live here. Um, it's just something that I've dealt with my whole life. It's been eavesdropping on the phone, eavesdropping outside the front door, um, eavesdropping, uh, going to your social media and, and spying on you. Like they think they have a right to do it because you're special needs. And that's the part that frustrates me because it's like, what right do you have to do that? I don't go through your mail. I don't go through your texts. I don't sit outside your door and listen to you. I don't care. But you need to do it to me because you think you have a right. And then you want to call them lies because you don't believe what I'm saying. Like, that's the part I don't understand. It's okay for you to go to other family members and tell lies about me and get them on your side. And then blame me for why other people don't talk to you. That's on you. Look at yourself first. But when you're dealing with mental illness, it happens. But like I'm saying, so my mask is being happy. My mask is biting my tongue. I guess that's not really a mask. But my mask is, um, what else is one of my masks? I think really just being happy is my biggest mask. I really think that that's what that is because when you're in a situation where you're just not happy, but you know how to fake it, like, I want to say my whole life has been a mask. Like, just trying to be happy my whole life. When inside, I'm completely crippling and dying. Like, there's this thing. Is it on TikTok? I think it's on TikTok. It's like, what does it say? Something like, oh my God, what does it say? Is it something like, oh, if you only knew what I was thinking or something like that, basically saying like, if you only knew what truly was, oh, if you only knew how much pain I was in, would you treat me that way or something like that? Or like something to your best friend, like you're the only reason why I'm still alive or you're the only reason why I'm whatever it was. But like, I like that saying, like I listened to that. It's on TikTok. But When your back is against the wall and you really feel like nothing's gonna change ever. And I know people are always like, well, why don't you make it better? Why don't you do this? Da, 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 da. It's like, please shut up because you don't live my life. Do you think that I wanna be sitting here at 31 years old? Heck no. I would do anything, anything to leave, okay? And believe me, I've had offers. I've had offers. My cousin called me, told me to come stay with her, okay? And I was like, heck yeah. Um. I've had other people say, 
come hang with me. And I've said, heck yeah. You know, like, but it's like, I'm not going to put them through stuff either because it would not just be me. It would be a whole bunch of problems. And people who really know the situation would be like, yeah, I get it. I understand. And I'm like, I would not do that to you. That's not fair. You're living your life and then you have a whole tornado coming through. No, I'm not doing that to you. Live your life. I'm being tested. I feel like God is testing me anyways. I really feel like I'm being tested. I've been tested for 31 years of my life. I'm like, okay, God, show me what you want me to do. Because I've been tested in so many different ways. When you deal with mental abuse and physical abuse pretty much your whole life and the people who have done it deny it and say that it's not true and it's made up in your head then okay cool it's in my head but your child would not be messed up if it wasn't true that's why i said i can feel for people who have been through stuff and i told you i can see through their pain because it's like i've been there i've done that and i'm only 31 so it's like i have a lot more to go through like let me let me get to 60 and then i'll be like hmm i really know what you're going through <laughs> I'm going to have a headache at the end of this day. And I don't know where Jama is. At 11.16. And princess, you're wrong. You are wrong, princess. You're wrong. You're wrong. If anyone out there uses me or Jama TV's name, just be careful because it's a scam. I'm just telling you right now, it's a scam. Don't believe it. To any of my Filipino fans, don't believe it. Because we trusted someone and they scammed us and they want to lie to our face. Just don't believe it. Because this person is trying to get back at us because they think that we left them. It wasn't our right to take care of you. We did not have to take care of you. We were helping you out of the goodness of our help, our, our hearts. And you want to treat us like that? Mm -mm. No, honey, you got the wrong one. Okay. Don't play with me. Because when I go off, I go off and I don't care. We helped you. We bought you a house. We got you a vent for your house, air conditioning for your house so you weren't hot. We bought her her pool for her birthday. We did so much stuff for you. And then you want to treat us like that. You want to blackmail Jama and you want to treat Jama like crap. Girl, please. I hope what goes around comes around. You'll get yours. We kept you out of the street. We made sure you weren't homeless. We fed you. Okay. We brought subscribers to your YouTube channel. Don't play with me. Don't. Because I'm telling you right now, I have so much anger built up in me from other situations. Don't let me be the one that snaps on you, please. Like, I'm holding so much anger, so much anger towards a lot of stuff. And I'm not a physical person, but I'll get you with my words. That's how I am. That's how I deal with stuff. You want to hurt me? I'm going to hurt back. I don't play that whole, oh, I'm just going to sit there and take it. No. When you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong. I will tell you you're in the wrong. I don't play that game. Oh, I'm going to shut up and not say nothing. I hate weak people. Say what you have to say. Because you allow that person to keep bullying you and bullying you and bullying you because you don't say nothing. When someone says something to you, say it back. Be like, excuse me, what? My God, they just knocked off the, the plank to my electrical thing. All right, guys. I love you guys. Peace out. Make sure to like and subscribe. Watch yesterday's video. Bye-bye.